Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk doing another Java tutorial. So if you're up to this point, uh, you probably have an idea of what classes are and what objects are. If you have no idea what classes are, have a look at my video on um, what is a class in Java and you should be able to get a better understanding. Uh, but basically, you probably have heard that Java is an object-oriented programming language. And what that means is um, a Java program is basically a lot of objects uh, interacting with each other uh, through running uh, methods. And the first thing we should do in a Java program Unlike what we're doing now, where in the main method, the first thing we do is we run a, but a bunch of random code. Um, what we should be doing is to create an object straight away and to run a method within that object to get the whole program started. So I'm going to do that right now and simplify this program. So rather than having all of this code inside the main method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to create another method in this class called hello. And I'm going to call it public uh, void um, start. and then I'm going to paste all of this code in there okay so therefore in the main method instead of having all this code in the main method what I can do is I can create a new object called hello so hello the object um, sorry the variable type is the name of the object sorry the variable type is the name of the class hello and I want the variable name be, to be called new game equals new hello and then I'm going to run the method within new game called start Okay, so what this does is it creates a new object, um, a new hello object, which is referred to using the variable new game. And then I'm going to run the start method of this object. So what is in the start method? Well, the start method is all of this stuff. So straight away, in the main method, I've created a new object, I've started running a method in that object, and from the start method within that object is where the object uh, creates another object called dice and interacts with that by running methods in that other object. So hopefully through this tutorial you have learnt that the first thing you do um, in the main method of a program is to create an object and to run a method in that object. Okay, so if we save this and we run the program, okay, it still does exactly the same thing as before. So it still rolls um, the dice, uh, one die, and it stops rolling until it gets to a two. So it still does the same thing, but we now have object, we now follow the principles of object-oriented programming where the first thing we do is create an object and then we um, start running a method in that object. Okay, now you probably think that it's a bit funny that I'm still running, that I'm still calling this hello, right? Because really what we have now is the greedy pig game. So instead of calling it hello, I'm going to rename this hello to greedy pig. And I'm going to replace where it says hello with greedy pig so that it makes more sense. 
and I'm going to rename the file as well so press the file name hello and rename it press F2 to rename and I'm gonna call it greedy pig okay just so this is all renamed properly and make sure you run um, the class file and make sure that it's all working still okay thanks for watching guys see you next time